Well, I hope everyone has been having a good St. Patrick's Day so far. I know I have. I know I have. I got me nice, cool glass of beer. Can't be a true Irishman without getting any alcohol in you. Uh, initially, my plan was to go outside to a bar and grab a beer, but um, uh, that didn't go so well because uh, I am retarded. I am a fucking retard. Uh, because it didn't dawn on me till it was too late that um, going to <laughs> that it would absolutely be crowded at this bar down the road from where I live on uh, St. Patty's Day, and especially on a Friday night. <laughs> I I didn't realize until it was too fucking late. I thought maybe I could get lucky. Maybe I could get lucky, but uh, the whole fucking bar was just crowded. <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't going to wait half an hour for a fucking beer, so I went down to my local supermarket and just grabbed a beer anyway. One of those single-serve cans. So I grabbed that shit instead. But, uh... Today I want to make a video all about child grooming. Because when I think about St. Patty's Day... Uh, naturally... Naturally, you gotta think about child grooming. I mean, it's totally not like I was initially planning to make this video yesterday. But I got sleepy. And night night time is more important to me than making YouTube videos. It, it is not that at all. No, 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 no. St. Patty's Day and child grooming truly do go together. <sighs> truly do fucking go together. Now, I know what you must be thinking. Who's the fucking child groomer today? Who gets to fucking take a seat with Alistair Mycroft? Well, before you start brainstorming, start jotting down some names in the comments section below. Uh, let me just be the first one to say it's not Gator. It's not Flamenco. And it's not Daddy Jim. No, 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 no. It's not those three. It's not the usual suspects, no. Today, our special... <laughs> What special fucking degenerate who's going to be having to take his seat is the one, the only, the California coint merchant himself, Mr. Matthew Vickers. Now, I think it should go without any saying that um, this entire month has just been an absolute train wreck for the Vickers family. First, judgebuds.lo got hacked. And all the DMs Mr. Vickers ever had with various internet personalities on Chudbuds got fucking leaked for everyone to see. And uh, everyone got to learn how much of a fucking lunatic he really is. And how sad and pathetic his family really are because his family, uh, unironically, watches COG. Like, you literally have 80-year-old women. Who get their fucking jollies nowadays from watching a British man stuck in a in a run down government made apartment living on welfare <laughs> just because they make fun of Ralph. Uh, aside from that, it also came out recently that um uh, Mr. and Mrs. Vickers are swingers. They literally have accounts on a fucking website for swingers. And uh, that account's been up for a while. Like over a decade. As Tarek Shaggy had tweeted about it. A link to that tweet's going to be in the description below. So you can get a, a good grasp <laughs> on uh, the Vickers swingers there. But there's also going to be a video in the description below from a nice man by the name of uh, CXR there, in which um, he goes over this little segment during one of Mr. Vickers' recent streams how he thought it was such a great idea to allow his then 14-year-old daughter to go on a date 
with an 18-year-old man. Oh, yes. Yes, really, he was perfectly fine with this 18-year-old man to go on a date <laughs> with Mr. Vickers' then 14-year-old daughter. And, uh, believe it or not, this 18-year-old man that Faith went on a date with when she was 14, that special little boy just so happens to be Faith Vickers' current boyfriend. I'm sorry, not current boyfriend. <laughs> not boyfriend, a uh, fiancé there. Yes, they're engaged to get married, and... Believe it or not, this is also the same guy that Faith Vickers had stated had, um, finger-banged her without her consent at Disneyland when they were 14 years old, when she was 14 years old there. So, um, finger-banged a minor without her consent was basically set up by the father of this then minor to be her fucking boyfriend. Now he's engaged to this bitch. You know, I love, you know, people like to say that um, California is a third world country. It's a third world shithole. I always thought that was just a meme. I always thought it was just a joke. I really didn't take that seriously, but, um... Seeing as how the Vickers family have no problem whatsoever setting up arranged marriages with some random Mexican they probably found. <laughs> they probably found in a Home Depot parking lot looking for work. <sighs> Given that shit, what's going on, uh, I think those people might be right. I think they might actually be right when they say that uh, California is a third world shithole there. And the uh, Vickers family, they're, they were perfectly okay with this uh, 18-year-old uh, going on a date with fucking Faith there. Which is absolutely surprising seeing as how the previous older men that Faith Vickers was in a relationship with... Uh, Mr. Chris Kerr, a halfway cuck, he's a pedophile, uh, they don't like him. Ethan Ralph, <laughs> so, someone who was way older than fucking Faith Vickers, uh, they really hate his guts. But for some fucking reason, Paco, <laughs> someone who's four years older than Faith, uh, apparently they're okay. Uh, with him dating Faith, so... Uh, apparently, in California, it doesn't matter if you get with a minor, as long as the parents say it's okay, y you can go ahead. You know, you can bang, you can finger bang a minor at Disneyland without her consent, and that shit won't matter because the parents of the girl are perfectly okay uh, with this relationship taking place there. So, yeah. <sighs> so glad I have this fucking beer. Let me tell you. <sighs> it ain't easy to talk about pedophiles and child groomers and shit, but someone's got to do it. But even though someone's got to do it, it doesn't mean you got to do it sober. So... Anyway, link to Esoteric Shaggy talking about the whole Vickers family being a bunch of fucking swingers and degenerates. That's going to be in the description below, along with the video of uh, CXR going over how Matthew Vickers was perfectly okay with an 18-year-old Mexican man being in a relationship with his 10 14-year-old daughter. And all I could say to that is, Jesus fucking Christ. These goddamn people. These goddamn people. I unironically hope Child Protective Services comes on in and gets little baby Xander away from these people now. 
I hope and I pray to God they get that fucking child as far away from the Vickers family now as humanly possible because uh, something tells me that at some point that child is going to get diddled. That child is going to get molested. And something tells me that uh, the Vickers family, they're not going to flip out. In fact, they're probably going to ask the rapist if uh, they recorded molesting Xander so they can all huddle around the computer and jerk off to it because those are the, that, that's the type of people I can imagine the Vickers family are. A bunch of sick fucking freaks that need to get nailed to a cross ASAP. <sighs> but nailing people to crosses is the illegal in this country, and it's frowned upon in society today, so... <sighs> Fingers crossed Child Protective Services can do the job I wish I can do right now. Anyway, have a good rest of your St. Patty's Day now.